The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers designers who are well focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds whether big, small, established or startup impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites, we give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show. It's time to give a shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international award-winning author, Mian Mosin Zia. If you love fast-paced mysteries, then you'll love Missing by Mia Mosin Zia. Available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing is fast-paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries with two strangers and one target where truth is an illusion and those you love will be the first to go missing. It's available in paperback and ebook on Amazon. Missing by Mia Mosin Zia has garnered great reviews and is even loved by Hollywood celebrities including Joanna Cassidy, Forbes Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today. Order Missing by Mia Mosin Zia, now available at Amazon. It's now time for the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, YouTube, iTunes, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and the MikeWagnerShow.com. Mike brings you great guests and interesting people from all across the globe. So sit back, relax, and enjoy another great episode of the Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show. Powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs at below the competition way. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, time to give a shout-out to our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international war ring author Mian Mosin Zia. If you love fast-paced mysteries, you love Missing by Mian Mosin Zia, available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing is fast-paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, and one target, where truth is an illusion and those you love be the first to go missing. It's available on paperback and ebook on Amazon. Missing by Mian Mosin Zia has garnered great reviews and even loved and endorsed by high-risk celebrities, including Joanna Cassidy, Forbes Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today for Goes Missing by me and Molson Zia, available on Amazon. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be here on the MikeWagnerShow.com. You can check our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash the Mike Wagner Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, and Apple. Coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn. Heard worldwide on Geo7, Radio Public, Himalaya, and more. Take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel. And follow the Mike Wagner Show on Instagram and Twitter today. And don't forget to support the Mike Wagner Show at themikewagnershow.com. Also check... Check out the Mike Wagner Show and support on PayPal and Anchor FM. And for great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com slash the Mike Wagner Show. And for more great gift ideas, including T-shirts, pop sockets, hoodies, and great books by me and Most and Zia, go to Amazon.com slash me and Most and Zia and order today. We're here with a terrific gentleman who's a creator of a bunch of balloons and spokesman for U.S. Inventor. He quit his corporate job um, a while back in 06 to begin the invention and became the number one best-selling toy before certain trouble began. And he's going to um, 
tell about, um, you know, what happened with a bunch of balloons and um, why why you need to uh, protect yourself and just, just tell them the story as well, too, about patents, small business, and a lot more. So we're not here to uh, basically, you know, pop the balloon per se, but just blow it up and um, just blow the competition away. Live, ladies and gentlemen, from the Plus Studios in along the beautiful um, Virginia, D.C. area, the uh, creator of a bunch of balloons and spokesman for U.S. inventor, the very talented Josh Malone. Josh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Good to be here. Well, it's great to have you on board, too. So you're inventor and creator of a bunch of balloons and spokesman for U.S. inventors as well, too. And you also have um, a patent on it. We'll talk more about that. You uh, quit your corporate job in 06 to uh, begin your invention and became the number one best-selling toy. And then some trouble also hit as well, too. So, um, and of course, we'll talk about, um, you know, what's the role and why it's important as well, too. And we're here to encourage everybody to protect. And before you know all that, uh, you're the inventor or a bunch of balloons and tell us about your invention and most importantly tell us how you got first got started yeah so what is bunch of balloons right it's uh so my invention is a, a self-sealing water balloon so mm-hmm. it was one of those those uh those tedious problems that really bother me when i was filling and tying water balloons and it would just go on and on for hours mm-hmm. and hours and i thought there's got to be a better way and so uh bu- bunch of balloons is so what it is is i i I worked on it and I ended up with this uh, device. So there's uh, on a, on a connector that goes on the garden hose, there's 35 tubes all coming out of that connector. And on the end of each tube, I put a a water balloon and around the neck of the balloon, I put a small elastic ring, like a little teeny rubber band. Oh, wow. And so it's a really small one, like smaller than you've ever seen. Um, And then, so when you turn on the water, connect the hose turn the water it goes down the tubes and the balloons all fill up at once and when they're full you shake it and then that elastic ring clinches the neck of the balloon shut so they self-seal hmm. so you can do 100 water balloons in one minute with my invention wow 100 balloons in one minute i think i can only do uh one balloon in over a minute so, <laughs> so. well the the world record um it stood at six balloons in one minute Mm-hmm. And then my my son broke the record a few years back. He did nine. Um, oh. So, oh wow, that's amazing! And what inspired you to, um, you, you know, do the thing with uh, with water balloons? How how did you first get inspired? Well, it was just one of those problems. I'm, I've, I think I, maybe I was just an inventor at birth. I just always was uh, bothered by things that are too difficult or cumbersome or costly or whatever. I just was looking for better ways of doing things and. This one, uh, you know, when I was a kid, it was it was misery trying to fill and tie water balloons. And then I was an adult and I was too old to play with them. But then when I had kids of my own, I was back at it. And that's when I was like, this is ridiculous. It takes hours to fill these things up and then they're gone in two minutes. Um, <laughs> I, and so, yeah. I, I mean, I pretty much threw water balloons myself. And it's like it's it, then again, it's always fun to fill. It's like you got to be really careful with it. And um, two minutes, it's all fun and everything and all worth it. And of course, um, your father of eight puts everything on the line to bring invention to the to the marketplace. And um, also you um, basically just. um Huge success. You got some uh, competition coming in, and um, you know, you know, basically, it's just becoming um, a race afterwards. And um, your patent on a bunch of balloons was almost um, heavily in fr- fringe and uh, pretty much threatened. Yeah, well, you, and, and just to back up a little bit, this wasn't my first invention. I had, uh, as you mentioned, quit my job, um, and I was just slaving away for seven years uh, with various ideas and startups and. A few, you know, a few crashed and burned and it just uh, wasn't really getting ahead. And so that's kind of the inventor's life. You're, you're, you know, a lot of, a lot of failures and you're hoping for that one success. And the, this one was, this one was successful. So uh, I, you know, I put it on Kickstarter and it, it really ended up being extremely popular. We raised almost a million dollars, Wow, 21,000 supporters and, so, th- yeah, this thing blew up. It was not just, uh, you know, I, I, I always wanted to make money off of my inventions, but this one was going to be huge. Mm-hmm. And uh, Walmart wanted to order it and, and Toys R Us and and all these 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 companies are coming. And then the toy companies come to me and they want to partner. And um, I did find a company, a uh, family owned toy company 
uh, called Zuru. Mm -hmm. And we went together and I partnered and they granted them an exclusive license. And so it was great. We were off and running. We, we went and started up a factory and invested in all the equipment to make this product and things were going well. And then the, the copycat, uh, launched, they beat, they basically outran us. Uh, we were filling, you know, we had the Kickstarter program, so we were selling some product, but we were really trying to scale up for the next year mm-hmm. and get into all the retailers. And these guys ran out in front of us and, uh, put a copycat on, on TV. It was as seen on TV, uh, which I don't know if you know about that industry, but it's, it's, pretty shady but you know they, they sell, they'll sell on tv and it's you know it's all these gimmicks act now buy one get two free free shipping and oh but then yeah they take that they take that and then they the new thing is or not new but they then they didn't put their product in the in the department stores and the grocery stores and like walmart has a big section for as seen on tv and so this company that stole my invention was like the king of that industry they kind of created that business model Mm-hmm. And and and, yeah. and, and and of course, yeah, I think about it too. I still think of those things like cuts, chops, slices, and dices to make Julian salads. And, and yes, yeah. it's um that company. It's called um, Telebrands. That's the name of it. Balloon Bonanza, they call it, and it was on Telebrands. And it sounds like those guys, Telebrands, have pretty much been a thorn on everyone's side, including yours, when it comes to inventions and new products. Oh yeah, and I was I was in trouble when I found out who this was. Um, these guys have been doing this for decades, and this is their business model: is to rip off uh, inventors and then put them out of business. They've been in over a hundred intellectual property litigations, and there's been books written about them. They you know they almost brag about uh, knocking off products, and um, it's it's been. I mean, it was it was it was it was very serious. Like no one had ever beat these guys. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and it, doesn't, it doesn't seem right, right? Because how can you just get away with stealing intellectual property? Mm-hmm. And that's where I really, that's why I'm involved in U.S. Inventor. I went through this unbelievable, uh, you know, they call it a justice system, but it's, uh, you know, basically it's, the attitude of these big corporations is, uh, catch me if you can, because mm-hmm. you have you have to be able to beat us in court. And that's going to take you, a decade it's going to cost you millions of dollars and they've got it all worked out to where the little guy um really can't stop them mm-hmm. um it's kind of that's that's their strategy so that's that's what we were headed for <laughs> I, it was not looking good I, I guess my question about telebrands as well too it's like how, how could the u.s government or the justice system or anything like those a lot of these guys continue and how come telebrands was not stopped in the first place yeah there's so so with it's kind of strange. Certain, so, so if you copy a movie or a, a video or um, a work of art, there actually there can be criminal penalties, and uh, even the FBI will get involved sometimes. But with patents, there's no there's no enforcement, so you're on your own. <laughs> so, so that means it's an it's an argument, and they're allowed to they're allowed to argue. That's their their due process right to argue and so what they'll do um usually you would think the argument would be well we we developed a different technology and so we we don't infringe the patent and the new the new strategy is to rather than do that just attack the patent itself and so you know they'll say oh the patent was was a mistake and it's invalid and so we're not guilty and so that's the game now that's going on they just basically say they don't have to uh, respect your patent because you don't you didn't earn your patent and it's invalid. Mm-hmm. Um, what, what, so the, and then they use the legal system and lawyers and and, the, and drive up your costs and just um, you know put put you out of business through attrition. <laughs> they wear you down. Right. Um, and, and of course, there's also some tactics as well, too. And of course, you know, inventors in jeopardy and uh, also a board as well, too, that is a thorn on inventor's side. We'll talk about that in just a minute. But first, listen to the Mike Widener Show at the MikeWidenerShow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at SonicWebStudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs at below the competition way. Call today. 
1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give a shout-out to our official sponsor of the Mike Widener Show, international warring author Mia Molson Zia. If you love fast-paced mysteries, you love Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing is fast-paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, and one target. Where truth is an illusion, and those you love be the first to go missing. It's available on paperback and ebook on Amazon. Missing by Mia Molson Zia has garnered great reviews and even loved and endorsed by Hollywood celebrities, including Joanna Cassidy, Forbes Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today for Goes Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon. Also, the Mike Widener Show can be heard on the Mike com. You can check our Facebook page at facebook.com slash the Mike Widener Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, and Apple. Coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn. Heard worldwide on Geo7, Radio Public, Himalaya, and more. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. And follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. And don't forget to support the Mike Wagner Show at themikewagnershow.com. Also support us on Anchor FM and PayPal. And for great gift ideas, go to amazon.com slash themikewagnershow. And for more great gift ideas, including pop sockets, t-shirts, hoodies, and a lot more, and great books by me and Mo Zia, go to amazon.com slash me and Mo Zia and order today. We're here with the creator of a bunch of balloons and spokesman for U.S. inventor Josh Malone here on the Mike Wagner Show. And um, we, we uh, talked about... Um, a bunch of balloons uh, ran to a buzzsaw where a company called um, Telebrands, um, you know, started up a, a, a thing called Balloon Bonanza, which is featured in TV commercial. Then all of a sudden, it pretty much um, just took off, and, um, and and a lot of things that happened as well, too. And Telebrand alleged the patent was invented because the patent office made a mistake. And um, there was also something, too, they paid an MIT professor to tell us more about that so-called story. Yeah, so the, the 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 trick is to attack the patents. And so these big corporations and Telebrands is an, an example, but so is Apple and Google and Microsoft and these big tech companies. And so, yeah, so the trick is file these briefs, uh, just bury you in paperwork, and then they hire an expert from MIT and he signs a statement, swears that no one knows when a balloon is substantially filled with water. And they said, well, no one knows, so your patent's vague, and so we're not guilty. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's just an example. Like They they lobbed like dozens and dozens of frivolous arguments at me. Another one, they would, they would say that uh, my patent was obvious because you just combine, say, a garden sprinkler, some plumbing fittings, and a surgical dietary device. You put those together, and it's obvious, and so the, the patent's invalid for that reason. And it's crazy. They can just say anything they want. Mm -hmm. Um, And then it, and so we have to fight it and that costs a lot of money. We've got to hire our own experts, uh, you know, lots of different specialist attorneys. And the, the, so here's where it gets really crazy that we we were able to fight them in court and actually win before a, a, a judge, eventually a jury an appeals court. This thing was intense. Mm -hmm. Um, But there's a new proceeding in 2011 Congress passed the America invents act. Okay. And you can imagine a lot of these bills, they actually do the opposite of what they say. Mm -hmm. Um, And that's the case here. Mm -hmm. So now there's a new department inside the U S patent office. And it's an, it's an administrative tribunal. It's like a star chamber for patents. And so if, if, if you're a big company and you want to use someone's, technology, you go to the patent office to this uh, patent trial and appeal board and you pay a fee and you ask them to invalidate the patent. Mm -hmm. And it's unsurprisingly because the the thing was created by these big corporations, especially big tech. It's run by lawyers for big tech and they find errors in all these patents now. And so they've looked at 3000 patents in the last nine years and they've invalidated 84 percent of them. Mm-hmm. And so Telebrands was losing in court. They were using, abusing the legal system to try to uh, put me out of business. And they're able, and, and but they're able to go now under this new law to the patent office. And they were able, they actually won. These these administrative judges agreed with them that 
no one knows when a balloon is substantially filled with water. It's it's this it's this Alice in Wonderland, like it's it's just shocking the nonsense and the the lack of it's not it's totally irrational. Mm-hmm. Um, the sort of decisions they're making there, but it's rational if you think. Um, big corporations set this up so they could steal our technology. It's, it's working perfectly if that was their intent. Mm-hmm. Um, and you also, so yeah. No, go yeah. ahead. I'm sorry. No, I just, just to summarize, we, we were, it's very hard and costly to go to court and there's no one to help you. You're on your own. And even then, and that's really hard to win, but now you have to win also at the patent office, which is supposed to be protecting you. But then if you ever try to use your patent, They'll take it back from you again. Mm-hmm. He also and that's the new system. He also lost one of your patents as a result of a laughable ruling by the by the uh, PTAB, the Patent Trial and Appeal Board. And tell us about that um, laughable ruling. Yeah, that that's the one where they said no one knows when a balloon is substantially filled with water. Okay, just want to clarify so that. That was it. Yeah, and and then they followed that up and said, well, it's obvious also uh, with another ruling. Um, the, but the, the, the stark thing is that they're actually contradicting the examiners who just just months before had reviewed all this and issued me the patent. They're overruling these federal judges. They're overruling juries. Um, and so, it, you know, it, they can get away with it in, in really complex technology where, you know, who knows what a thin film plasma deposition without arcing is, you know, there are these high tech things. And so everyone assumes that they're these really brilliant uh, technologists. And, but when you show, when you look at something like mine, that everyone knows when a balloon is filled with water and, and uh, you know, if it were obvious to, to, to invent this, why, why did, why did it take 60 years for us to figure it out? Exactly. Um, you're right. And of course, you know, there's always, um, you know, new ways. And of course, people are reinventing the wheel all the time. And of course, um, you know, just to clarify, how are you able to ultimately get the telebrand companies to stop the infringement and pay you damages? Because telebrands generally don't pay the damages. They always find a, a loophole, whatever. It's like how they how they manage to pay you the damage. Yeah, well, the system was so broken, so uh, just nonsensical. And I was, I was desperate. Like I was losing everything I worked for and my family's future was at stake. And so I went to Washington, DC. Um, I went and met with, uh, demanded to meet with the head of the patent office. And a few weeks later, we, we had a demonstration where we burned our patents and it was on the news and, you know, it wasn't a strategy. It was just a, a reaction but mm-hmm. what happened was it brought scrutiny to the abuse. And so there were changes. So we got a new director at the patent. The, the director of the patent office worked for Google. Oh, my like, gosh. So so these big corporations, they, they don't want to pay for their technology. And so they they got this bill passed and then they got their person put in charge of the patent office. And so after we burned our patents, she had to leave and we got a new director uh, I was able to win an appeal a little while later. They changed the the judge that was uh, sitting on my case and invalidated my patents. They took him off and put someone else on, which I didn't know that. I didn't think that would happen. Mm-hmm. But it, the, so some things turned around for us and we kept kept litigating. We were spending seventy five thousand dollars every week. Whoa. Um, every just, week. Oh, my every week. I mean, yeah. 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 So it's just so. The what happened was, this was going to go on for ten years or more, uh, if I could if I could hold up. Mm-hmm. But what happened was because we had we we were able to outmuscle these guys, so we were we had deeper pockets, and then I uh, I I ended up with this. Well, we had deeper pockets. We had influence in the government. I, I hate saying it; it hurts me to to say it, but that's how these other guys have been winning. And I magically discovered the formula. So it's not because uh, they ripped me off and, and I invented something no one else ever thought of and they infringed. And it, it had very little to do with right or wrong. It had to do with the money and the, and the power. Mm-hmm. And it, it's I mean, it's disgusting, but um, I'm just I was very, I was very blessed to be able to um, have the resources and, and 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 political power to to 
beat these guys. And so they had, they, they looked at the numbers and like, this isn't working. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> We're spending tens of millions of dollars to try to, to, um, to crush Josh and it's, we're the ones that are getting crushed. And so they, they, they surrendered and they settled out the case after four and a half years. Mm-hmm. And, and of course, uh, you, and of course, as uh, mentioned as well, too, the Supreme Court case coming up next year will address the qualifications that the PTAB judges must have to sit on. What are the brand new qualifications that they have to have? It sounds like the previous ones were very lax, you know, just having um, a few qualifications like, you know, do you know anything about inventing? What have you done? You know, just, you know, just simple like name address phone number and all that there's some brand new qualifications and what are some of the new qualifications and um basically um it, it would be pretty much tougher and um of course an important case for all inventors yeah there's there's lots of problems with this uh structure of this this organization i mean you shouldn't have the same government agency that's issuing a product and then also invalidating the same product and there's, you know, there's separation of powers problems. You've got the judicial branch mixing in with the executive branch. You've got the Seventh Amendment. I mean, what happened to the trial by jury? Mm-hmm. Um, the current controversy is at the Supreme Court right now. It's, it's, it's about the appointments clause. I mean, if you've paid attention to what goes on when uh, judges are nominated, it's a high, you know, it's a big deal. They have to go through Senate confirmation. Right. Well, these guys skipped that process. Oh, my gosh. Uh, <laughs> So the Supreme Court uh, is looking very closely at that, and, and we're hopeful that they're going to put a stop to that and and require that uh, we get some judges that are, uh, you know, qualified and, and, you know, it's about transparency and having them go through the Senate would give us a chance to figure out who they are and whether they're qualified. And, you know, right now we have a situation where, Attorney goes and you know an example is an attorney works for Apple, uh, and then he goes and hires on at the the PTAB. He to invalidate patents. He decides in favor of Apple, twenty three out of twenty four times, ninety six percent. Wow. And then and then then he goes back to work for Apple again. <laughs> that oh would my never gosh. happen in a, in a real court. It's like it's like a third world. Uh, it, it's really, it's, it's just, it's really sad, but it's, I can't believe it. I can't believe that this is what's happening in, in the United States. Mm-hmm. And, um, and, and of course, we'll talk about your organization, U.S. Inventor, how we can learn more. What do people need to realize about the nation's patent system? What's the best strategy small guys inventors can use? We'll talk about that in just one minute with Josh Malone of Bush Bunch of Balloons and um, U.S. Inventor here on the Mike Wagner Show. We'll be back in just one minute. You listen to the Mike Wagner Show at themikewagnershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Also brought to you by our official um, sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international war wing author Mia and Moats and Zia of Missing, available on paperback and ebook on Amazon. We'll be back with Josh Malone of Bunch of Balloons and U.S. Inventor after this timeout. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention The Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, my name is Forbes Riley, and I'm an American actress and a TV host, and I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real-life relationship. It's just, it's well-written. It's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter, and it's very well done. I'm going to highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia, he is the author of Missing. And I want to give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamotionzea.com. Missing. Available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. 
Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Widener Show. The Mike Widener Show can be heard on over 30 podcast platforms, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, Apple, and more. Coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn, where the Mike Widener Show interviews great guests, cool conversation, lots of laughs, coffee, and more. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device, subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel, and follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. Hey, hey, this is Ray Powers. And if there's one thing you can count on in these unpredictable times, it's that you're in good hands getting some great radio, courtesy of The Mike Wagner Show. We're back with Josh Malone, the creator of a bunch of balloons and spokesman for U.S. Inventor here on the Mike Wagner Show. And he went through a major, major fight with Telebrands, um, you know, you know, st- you know, trying to steal his patent. They went through a big, uh, lengthy um, court battle and uh, settled for um, $31 million and restored his patent rights. And um, let's talk about your organization, U.S. Inventor, and uh, tell us more about it and how can we uh, learn about the inventor's rights movement. Yeah, thanks. The the U.S. inventors, the, the the group of inventors who helped me when I was I was stuck, like mm-hmm. the justice system was broken. So I went to Washington D.C. and I didn't know what I was doing, but I found mm-hmm. a small group of inventors who who you know took me under their wing and showed me like how how Congress works with what the committees handle patents, and they joined me at the patent office, and you know they they really are the voice of inventors and and even all, all types of startups and small businesses mm-hmm. and so it's a non-profit uh group i after after i got through my battle and um i've been giving back so i'm a volunteer with the group spearheading our our grassroots effort and really um giving inventors a voice we, we didn't think that patents would be uh subject to politics you know it's, it seemed pretty sacred that if you invent something no one else ever thought of before, you get a patent for it. It's like what there's no con- <laughs> it didn't seem like the sort of thing that could be corrupted. Mm-hmm. But now we're here, so you know we're we're giving that point of view. So it's not just the big corporations weighing in on what's good for them. Uh, we we're speaking for inventors and um, giving them. I mean, a lot of it's about education, so inventors can go into this eyes wide open and understand. Uh, that a patent's not not going to do much right now, and then also provide the tools and the education to to make it better. So we're working on legislation and regulations, and and like even the court case you mentioned earlier, we're we're filing friend of the court briefs and things like that. I'll, I'll also explain about um, you know a patent system, what people realize, and also um. Ha- ha- How's the patent uh, process um, starts? Like, say, I, I were to invent um, XYZ widget where it cuts, slice, chops, slices, dices, makes Julian salads, and I want to get a patent for it. It's like, how do I? How do we go about the patent process first? Well, today, I, I, I don't think you should. Uh, patents are for big corporations. Um, that, that's just the sad fact. Now, uh, for, for most of our history, though, it, it was a very effective tool allowed anyone from any social status, um, you know, any gender, ethnicity, uh, uh, resource, underprivileged, anyone could participate, come up with something new. Um, you would, you would, uh, well, the patent was a bargain. So it was, it was an exchange. So the inventor agreed to publish their solution. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, you know, as opposed to say, keep it a secret. Right. So when the inventor publishes that, that solution, the public benefits from that knowledge and can learn and build on it. But the exchange is the inventor is supposed to get, uh, a temporary exclusive right to his invention. So the patent is supposed to be the, like a property, right? Just like the title to your house gives you control over your, your house and your yard. Mm-hmm. Uh, a, a patent is supposed to be uh, give you control over the use of your invention, uh, j- but just for a period of time. Right. Um, and so that used to work, you know, inventors, I mean, America just, we went from like a fledgling colony in the early 1800s. And within like three generations, we were a superpower. Mm-hmm. A lot of it was through, through innovation and it came from a lot of ordinary people. Mm-hmm. Um, 
the rest of the world, uh, you know, we, we came we came from England. Uh, the patent system was was very different. It was based on an aristocracy. You had to be wealthy and a friend of the king, or um, they would give out patents on colonies and patents on industries and patents on ports and things like that. And but our founders decided to do a wholesale new approach, and uh, you know anyone could participate and own property and uh, contribute and participate. Um, but that's been taken away. So the big corporations came to Congress and went to the courts and turned our system upside down to where now we're more like the the old European system where it's, you have to be, you know, a multi billion dollar corporation to. Uh, participate in the patent system. Mm-hmm. And what is the best strategy that small guy inventors can use when faced with a patent infringement by big co- big corporates? Yeah, um, you know, contact U.S. Inventor. You know, reach out. We're at usinventor.org. dot um, You know, there's there's some strategies and tactics, and uh, you know, I'm working with an inventor this week, and uh, the decision. Uh, and I think it was the right one was to just walk away and let them, let them steal. Mm-hmm. I mean, I mean, you're going to, you're going to spend the next, all your money and all your life trying to bring them to justice. And that's sometimes you just have to swallow it and move on. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and how can people get a hold of you and, uh, and, and your uh, organization, us inventor? Yeah. Us inventor.org is, is the point of resource for this. And you can join, you can learn. And, uh, my, I'm on LinkedIn, Josh Malone. I'm a social media, Josh, the balloon guy. Okay. So, <laughs> well, we'll get some balloons for you as well too. And fly over to you. We're with Josh Malone, the uh, creator of a bunch of balloons and spokesman for us inventor here on the Mike Wagner show. Just a few more minutes here. We'd love to have you back on in 2021. You've been absolutely terrific. And what can we expect from you in 2021 and beyond Josh? Well, we're, I think our voice is being heard. It, you know, it's, it's a, it's like I said, it's, it's an area where, uh, you know, patents were stable for a long time. They got destabilized by large corporations. And I think people are starting to listen to us now. Uh, 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 folks are listening and being educated and joining the movement. So we're hopeful that the Supreme court will make some corrections, uh, on, uh, on choosing these patent judges to make them fair and impartial. Uh, there's legislation that's been introduced in the past uh, Congress that could help make things fair for inventors. So I, I think we're going to start to see see some improvement. We have to. I mean, we're 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 not getting ahead anymore globally, and uh, you know, China's a threat, and uh, you know, we've got to get our inventors and entrepreneurs engaged again. So I think the I think people are beginning to recognize the need to innovate the need to empower uh, inventors and small businesses. Mm-hmm. So I think we'll start to see, I think we're, we've, st- I think we've stopped the slide and that the hard thing now is to get the inertia to, to restore um, rights for inventors. Mm-hmm. And we're on the lookout for that as well too. And who do you consider biggest influence in a career, Josh? <sighs> Can you repeat the question? <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sorry. Who do you consider biggest influence in your career? The biggest influence in, in I didn't hear the last part it, of the question. In your career. Oh, oh. Well, my, it has to be my wife. She's put up with so much. <laughs> uh, and that, that day when I said, uh, I'd really like to be a full-time inventor. And she said, that's, that's great. And I thought she meant, <laughs> that's great, go do it, because I quit my job the next day. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then, uh, but she was very supportive. We counted the cost, and she um, she went along with the ride. And, uh, you know, everything, you know, we, we, we just really, uh, yeah, we, t- we, we, we took the chance and uh, were prepared to abide by the results and, we ended up being super blessed and hopefully we can make a difference for others now. That is very amazing. And what's the best, what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point? Um, wow. 
<laughs> that's a big question. <laughs> uh, well, I, for, for the advice is um, su- support inventors. Uh, America needs inventors. The world needs inventors. Um, we we need to support support inventors. Uh huh, and that's very important as well too. Once again, we're with Josh Malone, creator of a bunch of balloons, and spokesman for U.S. Inventor here on the Mike Wagner Show. And Josh, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely fantastic. Looking forward to having you again soon. Do us a favor, keep us up to date. Love you back on in twenty twenty one and beyond, and uh, keep us up to date with the uh, situation, the Supreme Court, and inventors and more. And once again, uh, tell us about your upcoming projects. What's your website? How do people contact you? And um, where can people check you out? Or where can people um purchase a bunch of balloons also. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to keep beating the drum for usinventor.org. Uh, I'm giving, you know, I'm giving my time to it, giving some money to it. All I need uh, from from everyone else is to is to get involved and educate themselves and share our message. So, uh, usinventor.org is is the voice of inventors and um, we we need we need to grow. Mm-hmm. So we don't have to have millions, but we do need, you know, we need a few more thousand uh, uh, people to get educated and, and join our movement. Um, we, yeah, we certainly will do so. Once again, Josh, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely fantastic. Looking forward to having you again soon. Do us a favor. Keep us up to date. Love you back on in 2021 and beyond. And don't forget to keep in touch. You've been absolutely terrific. And um, maybe we'll invent something one day. We'll see. <laughs> you should. Hey everybody, my name is Forbes Riley and I'm an American actress and a TV host and I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real life relationship. It's just, it's well written. It's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter and it's very well done. I'm going to highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Me and Moshe Zia. He is the author of Missing. And I want to give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamotionzea.com. Missing. Available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers Designers who are well focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress, and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds, whether big, small, established, or startup, impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites, we give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving and Increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1 800 303 3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Thanks for listening to the Mike Wagner Show powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, YouTube, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and themikewagnershow.com. Please support our program with your donations at themikewagnershow.com. Join us again next time for another great episode of The Mike Wagner Show.